Okay, we are uh, we're live. Welcome uh, to your second favorite Ohioan. He, yeah, he true. We lost refuses that to admit it. He said he would start doing it at the beginning of every Royals. So there's been like six polls uh, between <laughs> him and Red Ohio. Red Ohio won all of them for favorite Ohioan. I they were stolen. No, uh, they weren't. Quite they frankly, them. we did win that poll. No, I'm gonna challenge. Also, him everyone vote against Buckeye in the Connie T Senate race. He's no, a vote not for me. He hates AFM is an yeah, vote for Buckeye. Yes, vote for me in the. He uh, also primary. opposed. He also thinks the Batman was a better movie than Morbius. I do not. I've actually seen Morbius in theaters. Have you? Tell me. I, about I watched Morbius it on right Discord. I, no, DG Koopa sent me the link to it on Discord. I saw it Morbius. opening weekend. I have the well, receipts to prove it. You still said that the Batman was a better movie. I have just never like once Diana Hushberger. Who's gonna lose the election to Michael Leone? Because... I have been a morbhead since. There was uh, one time at uh, Little Caesars where the, the customer's was last name was Leone, and I immediately thought of him. <sighs> you should have said, "Are you related to the next yeah. congressman?" From... <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna make Tennessee a one uh, blue district in this. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. We're gonna do curious. a little. How does this look? Good. Oh, wait, the Whoa. quality's decent. Or no? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna Whoa. get this pulled up. Is that is that the uh, Buckeye realm? No, we don't have a realm. This is just a survival world. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? Um, what's his name? Called it the Buckeye realm. Uh, uh, Boston. Yeah, Boston Zoo. We made that. Oh yeah, go on that end tip. It we totally just blew up the world with structure blocks. Look, I have a what? dog too. We we completely huh. nuked that server basically. That's pretty cool. We just yeah. like we just like copied a bunch of mountains and structure blocked them all <laughs> over the place. It's pretty cool. And and Boston Zoo we built like a bunch of skyscrapers that are just made out of cobblestone and they go up to like build height. That's pretty cool. That server lasted like less than a week. No, people still go on it from what I've heard. Really? <laughs> No, no, because Boston Zoo. I was on one time when Boston had his communist revolution, <laughs> and he started just like killing people for no reason. Just like my hero Mao Zedong. I was the only person he didn't purge, and everyone left that day. We all like the people on. Okay, I haven't been in the realm in like. I will go on the political process. The importance. If the quality of this is actually good on the stream, I will begin unironically streaming Minecraft on this channel. It's a little laggy. Yeah. I, used, I, I used to stream on Minecraft, the uh, Gen Z Patriot. My yeah. Wi-Fi is also not very good right now because, you know, uh, got people work. Remember the like Gen Z problem, realm? Though. I used to stream that. Oh, you can make me a very good flag in Minecraft? It's pretty cool. Yeah. And I debated Gen Z on if uh, Elon Musk uh, was funding the metaverse so that they could genocide <laughs> yeah, Gen you know my mom bet on the LA mayoral race did who, she win? Who, yeah who even won uh, she bet on Caruso yeah Caruso was gonna win that yeah I called it he was getting all the endorsements yeah, I, had, I had Caruso plus 3.2 he's Katie actually Perry good he was a Republican up until he ran for this race so he's basically just a Republican who switched parties for electoral strategy which worked apparently. Yeah, he got all the celebrity endorsements. Even Katy Perry was like, yes, Aaron Bass." Is like I saw really that on Twitter. Bass. Yeah, I know that's the problem. Like, I I wasn't shocked that Elon Musk endorsed, but the Katy Elon... Perry thing was weird. Wait, is is Elon Musk from LA? Yeah, not originally. Okay. He doesn't he live there. there anymore. Okay, I'm gonna. Is he from South Africa? Yeah. Yeah, he's African American. He's the best African American. Yeah, he's the wealthy. He's better than MLK. Okay, um, give me a second. I have it pulled up. Um, okay, Buckeye, you can share my screen. Okay. Okay, window political process. Okay, is this up? Yeah. Okay. So the stream can see this. We literally have one person in chat saying that Obama is a socialist. Oh, Obama is, there, uh, is a socialist. True. No, who is it? Is it the Chad? It's no, it's like the one German map. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of trolling on the electoral Whoa. map. Let's just say that. Okay, we're just gonna completely randomize this guy's name. We're gonna call him. Uh, 
He looks like uh, Josh Mandel, kind of. So you, let's just randomize everything. Kind of does, actually. Let's just randomize everything. Whoa. Homer. Homer Simpson. What's your guy's favorite minority group? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to make our songs. I would have to say uh, midgets. Seventy. Pretty cool. Bro, what? No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go to the greatest uh, city in the United States of America, the great city of Detroit, Michigan. Well, what about Port Huron? Bay City. Or Flint. I, I want to, like, get killed when I drink the water there, okay? Is Port Huron in here? Did they ever fix that? Yeah, Port Huron's in St. Clair, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 2015, the city of Port Huron. Now, we're just not doing here. We're not just having a normal election, okay? We're going to go into the states. Okay, it was, it was D plus okay. one. Yeah. Alabama. Port Huron was D plus one Alab in Okay. First off, we're going to go to U.S. House. Uh, we're going to find Tennessee 01. Okay. It's pretty so cool. Looking. Is this still on stream? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tennessee's first. Okay. Ninety-eight point one percent for the Democrats in Tennessee's first. Michael Leone. Yep. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna go back to some states. Uh so first off the state of Alaska, as we know from Andy Bashir fan, it is shifting blue. True. Mm -hmm. Also, Arizona was Republicans that? are what? losing a lot of ground. Wait, there, What's that? Someone's calling me. That? Someone's calling me. Answer it on stream. <laughs> it was a spam call. Oh, I don't no, even know how to controlled them on okay. stream. Arkansas, what? as we know, was Bill Clinton's home state. So Democrats. Like, I think if I did that, it would like it like mess up like the audio. We're gonna have a very interesting oh. electoral map after. I don't this. think I can be in two calls at once. Look, so Democrats, because it's Bill's home state, they're going to receive 70%. True. Uh, California, as we know from Gen Z Patriot, the recall was stolen. It was, actually. Uh, Republicans will see 56%. Uh, Colorado, as we know from uh, um, QAnon, it's the bluest state in the country. So I was looking at um, the, what, what happened in like all the districts in New Mexico. So every district went blue except for like the bluest district, which is uh Stansbury's district. That one had more Republican primary votes. That's well, then you guys like have a competitive more. primary in a uh, Carroll's district, though. I don't know. I don't remember. I think they did. Also, keep in mind they have closed primaries there. Yeah. Yeah. True. I think if they had open it's like, primaries, it's like a Democrat plus sixteen registration or something. It might even be nope. worse. Okay. Connecticut is... Like, I saw something from, like, 2019. It says, like, D plus 18 in New Mexico. I, I don't know how that's changed, though. What should we... Which party should we give Delaware to? Um, the GQP. It's very white. Yeah. True. Okay. Uh, Delaware. Uh, now, Washington, D.C. Now, Blexit. I think we all... Are we all aware of Blexit? Of course. Yeah, it's happening. Um, Blexit, uh, after Dinesh DeSouza, the uh, Indian... My parents Republic must watch the documentary by him. He exposed how <laughs> Democrats founded the KKK. There's no way DC is going to keep voting Democrat after that it got exposed. I'm sorry. Uh, Florida, uh, they're going to be pissed at Death Santis. So. Yeah. Florida. Uh, Georgia, uh, it was stolen. And they're going to be pissed at Rhino Kemp. So all the Republicans are going to write in the true patriot, Candace Taylor. They actually stole the prime. Did you guys see Mike Lindell? Yeah, yeah they stole the prime. Yeah, they did. They did. Half of uh, Candace Taylor's votes were. Uh, Unironically, Raffensperger stole his election. Okay. Uh, Georgia. Next up is. What am I wrong? Hawaii. Um, It's trending red. True. Yeah. 
Uh, Hawaii Idaho. GOP. The Idaho Democrats are going to... Ohio, the North Idaho be DSA. That Especially North Idaho. The North Idaho DSA, the people who said the Cuban protest was... Protesters were bought by Jeff Bezos. Yeah, they're also True. gonna flip it blue. You guys ever wanted to like eat a frozen pizza without? Oh, now we're at a good one. The great state of Illinois. I, oh, do well. I even need? I'm not even gonna touch this. Seventy-three <laughs> percent Republican, I think. That's it. Nice. Indiana is gonna move left because they almost it's went blue in 2018. Yeah, Indianapolis suburbs. Uh, Iowa, though. The grassly mentum. <laughs> the pigeon. And Kansas is shifting blue. Like True. Mr. Beat? They made a video? Actually, no. Because Mr. Beat lives there. <laughs> All independence. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fierce independent warrior. Okay. Uh, Kentucky. Yo, Charles Booker. Lone Star Politics Yo. in the chat. Whoa. Okay, Lone How Star. How is my I'm favorite do this Texan doing? A Lone Star. Take a look at Texas here. It's shifting. Bro, blue. that's just vile. True. It is the bluest state in the country. No. Actually, no, Bernie Sanders would have won West Virginia's primary. Yeah, that's uh, true. I, it's a very progressive state. Uh, New York is shifting red, though. Mm-hmm. Good. Because of blacks. So, um... Uh, New Mexico is... There's oil there. Tell us about the primaries last night, PPC. Oh, um, it was very, very... Who cares about primaries? We're too busy. Mississippi surprised me so much, and I'm proud of the voters there. Mississippi is the best state in the country. Agreed. It's arguably one of the worst, but they just had a very (laughs) rare but massive W yesterday. Hmm. Have you ever been to Mississippi? Uh, I've driven through it uh, when I was, like, two. Oh. So. You know, I used to think, like, West Virginia was, like, some really, like, bad state, but, like, based politically. But then I went there. It was, like, so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I, could, I probably won't be able to see the same from Mississippi, though, because, like, it's just all poor. <laughs> Actually, that's not really a real reason to say it, but it is what Isn't it is. Isn't West Virginia poor? Yeah. Uh, no, I have not been to West Virginia. It's probably, I've been to Virginia, I mean, and it's in Greece. There's a good chance that Mississippi is like a beautiful state. I, I've yeah, never been there. No. no. I've been to Louisiana, but that's that's not in Mississippi. I'm going. I'm going to Louisiana soon. Like in in like four days, I'm going to be in Lafayette. Oh, nice. I was the only southern Orleans, state I've really like been to are like south of Atlanta. South. Swamps. I've only ever been to like. The only st- southern states I've been to are Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. And the I guess southern states I've been to are North Funny, Carolina, Louisiana, and Florida. Uh, and so the southern yeah, I've been, states I've been to well, are, uh, I was in D.C. and Maryland, and I don't think that counts. Out of the, Whoa. Out of the um, four, uh, out of the eleven like Confederate states I've been to, Texas, of, of course, uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Virginia. So funny enough, Ed Tep, the four southern states you visited are happen to be the four that I haven't gone to. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, New Mexico. Mark Ronchetti just absolutely crushed uh, his opponents. Um, no. we we didn't we did not have a good night at all in California, in my opinion. I haven't really looked yeah. at California. Well, what happened? You know, I was look. We were like underperformed in like a bunch of counties, but we like o- overperformed by ten in Los Angeles. Yeah, uh, Car- Caruso beat Bass uh, in the raw vote. Oh, wow. yeah, for, yeah, for the mayor. Uh, so he's like Connie Conway is going to Congress because there's a special election. Yep. Yo, should wait? Was my mic muted this whole time? Yes. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, should we mess with these demographics? Oh, yes. African ancestry, put it at 0%. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Politician, uh, gender ratios. What should we do we with We should purge the society of women. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, there's no, no, no 100% option. Sad. No. There's gonna be, like, one member of the Senate who's a woman. 
Um, oh, we can just edit colors. them out. I forgot. I have the power to edit them out. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, beast. Anyway, what else happened? Okay, so we did some... Uh... New Jersey, Crispy. Oh, uh, Montana, Montana. Um, you have it in Montana. I'm talking about this. Ryan Zink has not been projected the winner yet. Really? Okay. Huh. No, it's too close to call in that race. Oh. Okay, so... He's only uh, we can take by a look at some 4. of these states. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't know it was that close. Yeah, it's actually really close right now. He's only at 41.4%. His opponent's at 40%. Okay. Why does this Good. mic keep muting itself? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It just muted again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are... Seriously, um, stop, dude. I can't... Uh, wow. Michael Franken just absolutely beat the crap out yeah, of I, I thought that – I knew that race was a toss-up. I didn't think Franken would win that much. No, but people were saying, like, it was a massive upset. I wouldn't yeah. say it's that big of an upset, but I'm actually still surprised that uh, he won by that much or that he won at all. More surprised, I'm actually surprised that Yankee Perspective quoted my tweet. Yankee Perspective quotes everyone's tweets. Yeah. So. Yeah, but his quote tweet got more likes than my actual tweet, so I'm going to count that as a ratio. Okay, when you make a lot of changes, it does this. It takes forever to load. But yeah, I completely fucked up the election. You guys like apples? Uh, they're better than most fruits, but like, for some reason, like, I'm not that big of a fan of uh, fruits at all. Yes, 51 German Fuck, apples. Isn't this your favorite kind of apple? Yeah, Granny Smith. Oh, yeah. Nah, cool. my favorite apple. 51 German mapper is correct. Buckeye socialist politics. True, is, I am a socialist. a socialist. And he is unfit to serve in the Connie T. Senate. No. He supports Mao Zedong. Yeah, true. That's cringe. That, that should not be allowed. No, it's based. No, it's based Cry for you, it. but it's not based for Connie T.'s voters. <laughs> and that is Connie <laughs> T.'s average voter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to appease the average voter, not the uh, Buckeye group chat. I feel lost. I feel bad for the people who were just using like MSNBC or CNN, and they didn't have Mississippi up. Yeah, because they missed out on a lot of fun. Guess how much money I make per hour? Come on, seven dollars and fifty cents. You're close. Eight dollars. Apparently, it's running the Senate election still, which isn't surprising. Nine, it's 839 an hour. Map? Damn, bro. Uh, the unfortunate you're literally Elon Musk. Musk. You're rich. You're rich. Yeah, yeah, come true. on, load. load this. How much did Phallus win by? Oh, let me see. Oh, my God. How much did he win? Oh, oh. He didn't even crack 60% in the end. Who? Uh, Dusty Johnson in South Dakota. Wow. It's a uh, there's ninety five percent in. He's been trending down. Just He's under six. That was disappointing. Yeah, uh, it was fifty nine point three for Johnson, forty point seven for Howard. There are a couple of rhinos who are uh, who lost in a uh, South okay, Dakota. Okay, Buckeye. I'm gonna leave oh, this stream good. for a second. Like, so Idaho hopefully this loads 0. faster. I'll be right back in a couple minutes once this loads. Okay. Cool. Okay, that was the weirdest cool I've ever said. Well, well, now what? Cool. Thoughts on women? Cringe. For the, sometimes. Actually, for the most part. Damn, that was just like the biggest grift I've ever done. <laughs> that was a big grift. <laughs> that was, I changed my mind like twice in like five seconds. The fastest grift ever. There's a woman I work with who used to go to my school. Is she cool or no? Yeah, she's cool. Thank much. We got 36 likes and I got five retweets. Wow. Including uh, a successful ratio. There was one I got uh, sixty-nine between uh, four twenty likes. likes. Yeah, this is this is far above average for uh, 
my like my average tweet. My average tweet gets like what? Probably like five okay, likes or so. Unfortunately, <laughs> the thing crashed because <laughs> damn. Um, so instead I'm gonna be giving my a 2022 house prediction, okay? Totally oh, serious. Okay. I will show you my Bakar, how long is your index finger? <laughs> Bro, I don't know. You want to compare index finger length? Okay. We are it's going like, to start on the um let's see, do I got a ruler? We're gonna start up in the Seattle area. So as we know, in 2021, in the elections there, a Republican actually won the Seattle uh Oh, what was it? oh god. The Seattle Attorney oh, General. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. Uh, yeah, that's Seattle so has been shifting right uh, significantly. Let's hope Jaya Paul just. However, as Jesus we know, the socialist. suburban swings away from Republicans are going to push the remainder of these seats into the Democratic column, including this one. Oh, man. As well as uh, Joe Kent is going to be the nominee there. And there, he, he was a socialist. Okay, yeah, you're not know. taking this seriously. He's too far right. He's, he's a yeah. socialist and too far right at the same time. He doesn't time. hate the Jews. And he also worked for the CIA because people up here are very conspiracy theorists. This is Bigfoot com- country. People people underestimate how ma- many conspiracy theorists there are in Washington. Hmm. It's like Bigfoot country, a lot of things. Uh, same with the city of Spokane. It has also been shifting left in a recent years. However, this no. district, just because it's rural, I think it will stay Republican. Huh. Uh, next up, uh, Oregon, the... Antifa is obviously going to pull him over in Portland. Um, and Alex Scarlatos in this district, he's extremely far right. Um, and But this district is where Lynn County is. And like the former leader of that county's GOP is the nominee for Senate Sports QAnon. Uh, so they're, Bro, they're a Q district. No, I don't think the Ren- the Renner supports QAnon. Yeah, her name was uh, Joe Gay Perkins. She was this. No, no, no. Uh, that's for Senate, I think. Yeah, but she was the chairman of the Lynn County Party. Cool. Wait, Which no, Lynn I, I'm confused. In that district. Perkins isn't running for House. That's not what he no, said. Go ahead. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I, uh. Okay, and then this district, there's a lot of Q-boomers out here, too. Actually, you know what? They're going to create a new party called the East Oregon Separatist Party, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting some third parties on the map. And they're gonna um oust the rhino there. Yes, they're gonna oust the rhinos. Bents will fall. Okay. Um, and then Evan McMullen in the state of Utah, uh, with his invention of the. You guys want to see a picture of me from uh to like twenty twelve? The invention of the independent Mormon party is going to pull every Republican seat into the independent. And the Mormon Eastern party. Idaho seat. <laughs> Guys, do you want to see a picture of me from uh, 2012? Sure. Why? Okay. Uh... I just see your hand. Oh, wow. You see it? Oh, <laughs> oh man. You look like Red Lion. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just found it. But obviously, like I'm looking for, um, the, for, for a ruler to measure my index finger. Okay, next we'll be going up to the state of Idaho, which, due to many California transplants, has been shifting more and more Democratic. Uh, So the state of Idaho, both seats will probably end up going into the blue column. Um, However, actually, the state of Wyoming, also Mormons are kind of expanding their influence. So they're also going to... the, the rhino Liz Cheney will get primaried out, but the, the person who's going to primary her out is going to be unpopular because she's also a woman. And Mormons don't like to see women in politics. So they're going to, of course, vote is in. The only Mormon Mormon. You? However, we will now enter the uh, East Oregon separatists. You may wonder why would they win in any other place besides East Oregon? Because there would be a, a strictly libertarian party, which would appeal to the people of Montana. Dang, bro. And they would join the cause for East Oregon separatism, <laughs> even offering to welcome East Oregon into Montana and creating a uh, Montana would just have this weird part. And they would probably have to gerrymander through Idaho to get it connected. Maybe okay, I, don't, even... I don't know where my ruler is, so I guess I will never know how long my index finger okay. is. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, what what state do you guys want to hear about next? Ohio. Okay, in Ohio. So with the so, the socialist J.D. Vance uh, winning the Republican Senate nomination, the, the actual real Republicans led by Matt Dolan and John Kasich are going to create a true Republican party. True. True Republicans for <laughs> democracy. Um. And obviously Vance is going to lose. Obviously. There's no way. Like Tim yeah. Ryan's running an amazing campaign and Matt Dolan's going to run a writing campaign. He's going to, it's going to be Matt Dolan versus Tim Ryan and Matt Dolan's going to win. So every Republican seat in the state uh, besides J.R. Majewski's seat, because Marcy Kaptur is a working class warrior who's going to defeat the, the GQP, JQ, GQP Majewski. True. And uh, um, also the, the election, the Electa Bros' favorite uh, candidate up in uh, Ohio's what's her 13th, name? Thirteenth, Madison Gessiato yeah. Gilbert. Yes, the the the, the Kumo's favorite candidate <laughs> is going to win. However, Nina Turner <laughs> <laughs> is running as run a with the uh, progressive socialists of America. True. With the PSA party, okay, and she's gonna defeat the Dino. Um, uh, what's your name again? Uh, Chantal oh, Brown. Chantal Brown. Uh, um, however, Republicans do to Brexit in a the, the Cincinnati. I mean, in the Columbus area, they're gonna flip that seat most likely. Okay. Now we're gonna go up to uh, the the favorite state of Chicago and Zuma, the state of Maine, Maine which has we'll have to stop ignoring Maine's Oregon. trends. Which has been moving more Republican recently, so we're going to do both seats. However, New Hampshire has been rapidly shifting left, but uh, the socialist, it's Vermont, so it's going to be socialist. However, there's going to be a very interesting new member to the Socialist Caucus, none other than uh, Boston <laughs> Zuma. He will defeat Boston Groomer in uh, uh, the, the famous bald woman uh, by the name of uh, what's her, Ayanna Presley. Ayanna uh, Presley. Who uh, famously responded to Nathaniel Makenstan, who called her bald, and she was very <laughs> pissed at that. <laughs> then she delayed the tweet. Yeah, uh, we have a name for her. Her name is Boston Groomer, and she will be defeated by the true socialist, Boston Zuma. He is literally yeah. Mao Zedong back from the dead. Yeah. Um, however, the rest of Massachusetts has been trending red, but the only Republicans they like are the true Republicans for democracy. They're not going to vote true. for uh, the GQP. Do Michigan next. Okay, we'll go over to the state of Michigan. I want Eminem to run for Senate. Okay, so John James, people in Macomb County are racist. They're not going to. You know, John him. James, you know, Eminem lives in John James District. Okay. Oh, cool. I think. I thought he lived in California. Oh, does he? I mean, he, he used okay. to live in Detroit. Also, in the state of Detroit, actually, the state of Detroit, Blegs is happening. But also, the here, this of- is Dearborn. Now, as we know, in 2016, Donald Trump only received 12% of the Muslim vote, and that went up to 30% in 2020. So as we know, Whoa. the Muslim vote is shifting red. So the district surrounding Dearborn will be going Republican. True. Um, however, as, as we talked about, the suburban seats – they have been massively shifting away from Republicans for many years now. Um, the working class part of the state, it's trending red. No, it's not. Uh, also, this district's going to go blue. Uh, same with Grand Slug Rapids. Ten. No, no. Grand Rapids obviously going for Peter Meyer, the true. Republican. Yeah, exactly. Um, but this district, uh, Daniel Kildee, the proud progressive populist uh, who's well liked in that district, he is going to lose to the independent Mormon candidate. Don't ask why. I'm sure there's like 1% of the population there that's Mormon, and they're just going to do voter fraud, okay? True. And, of course, uh, Port Huron is going to love the East Oregon separatists. They're going to they're gonna be welcoming them. They're going to... They're gonna not even the them. biggest city in the district. Uh, the, what is Bay City? No, Bay City is in a... Macomb Township is. I don't care about Macomb Township. It's it, it has like 120,000 people. It, it doesn't even exist anymore. It's in this new district down here. No, it's in the district, I think. No, it's not. I looked. Oh, is it? Penis. Okay, all the areas surrounding Andy Bashir's house are going to go blue now, okay? True. 
including Fort Wayne, which has been rapidly shifting left, as well as the uh, Indianapolis suburbs. We talked about Indiana. Trust. Rapidly shifting left. Uh, how are all the fascists in the rural Indiana are going to go? And this district, Chicagoland. Oh, <gasps> let's talk about Chicagoland. Blexit has been yeah, my calculator. Hey, whoops. Pretty I cool. forgot. These are the suburban districts. They've been rapidly shifting left. True. Um, however, Indianapolis, I think it'll flip red. Uh, this district, the, the Demo KKK rats gerrymandered the... Uh, the, the the farmers out and uh thankfully uh, okay so this is gonna be the sad part so um Schrader to democracy uh Mary Miller will be defeating Rodney Davis however Rodney Davis you know is gonna run with the true Republicans for democracy and he's gonna win that seat um and then down here too they, they're gonna go for true Republicans they're gonna just come out of nowhere the, Rodney Davis is gonna clone himself three times and run in all these seats whoa yes whoa to defeat Pretty the cool. evil GQP. Same in the uh, Wisconsin State. Derek Van Orden is a conspiracy theorist. Um, he was very and they love Trump. establishment Trump almost, in that district. Listen, he supported a president who almost destroyed our democracy. <gasps> um, Milwaukee blags it. Blags it have, okay, I'm getting a call. Give me a sec. Buckeye, how are you? I'm very good. I'm enjoying this uh, this show. Yeah, true. I, I have my, my next class is in 13 minutes. It's my math class. It's pretty cool. I got a 98% on my on my last math test. Nice. Pretty cool. That's very good. Yeah. Okay, how is uh, Maine trending? Very far to the right. Yeah. GOP Josh is let <laughs> GOP join. Josh wants to join. Okay. Okay, I'll let him in. Oh, you let him in. I don't know. I, I can't let him in. Buckeye, did any uh, state uh, people in the state legislature lose uh, <laughs> their primary in Ohio? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's a good question. Uh, there were there were a couple that lost in uh, South Dakota. Josh, you're probably not going to be on in 30 minutes. I got to leave at like 11. Okay. Wait, Bucko, what did you say your favorite minority group was? I didn't. I don't have. Uh, probably Hispanics. Oh yeah, uh, they're based. They're always so hard to hear. Like I'm, I'm at work. They're like order. They're, they're like ordering a pizza, and then they're yeah. like just like I can't understand what they're saying. Well, it's because they speak Spanish. They speak some English. Oh. Buckeye, how often yeah. do you go to Little Caesars? Uh, I used to go all the time. I haven't been there in a while, though. Oh. How much is a Little Caesars pizza where you are? It was like five bucks. Oh. It's five ninety nine here. Oh. I think mo I think in most places it's five fifty five. I am back. You are? Yes. Okay, so we will continue the pro democracy map. Institute. I am Scooter Harper's wife. Uh, Whoa! Did it was Whoa. it? Wait, is a uh, Scooter Harper supposed to be married to Becky McKay, or is that like a meme? I don't know. You see my dog? My dog. Yeah, you showed us it earlier. My dog. <clears throat> my dog. Show up the camera. Camera. No, we have to talk about the Wow counties. Uh, according to UEP, the Wow, been, the wow counties will never go red again. They're, they're massively shifting, shifting to, so the left. Far to the left. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, Madison uh, will be going to the uh, True Republicans for Democracy. I have no reason for this. Just because Eisenhower won it. Yeah. Uh, um, Mike Gallagher, nothing you can do, even this meme thing. And Tom Tiffany, yeah. nothing can, nothing can take. Actually, frankly, Glenn Grothman as well. Nothing can take these three away. They will True. exist forever. Actually, no. Uh, the Democrats will be defeating Mike Gallagher because True. Green Bay has been trending left. But you can, no matter what you do, you can never defeat Glenn Grothman and Tom Tiffany. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The UP. Uh, so all the Democrats are going to realize red line. Okay, everyone in that district is going to see red line's Twitter and see him freaking out about nothing. And they're going to be like, Russia. why did we support this guy? Why did we support this party that this guy's a part of? And they're just going to be ashamed and they're going to vote Democrat because of shame. True. They're true. true. Very However, true. Uh, uh, Muskegon, actually Muskegon's not even in this district, but the Muskegon suburbs have been moving right. And Calvin Zoo has been moving left, but Blexit's going to happen. I think there's like two black people in that city, and they're going to flip. There's them. four black people in my township. Cool. Have you ever and met one them? of them's a Trump supporter? <laughs> How do you know? Because they have a yard sign in their yard. Okay, oh, screw, screw this detailed analysis. We're doing the simulating. It's my cat. I didn't show you my cat. For my classes in eight minutes. What am I going to do? Imagine still having school. Yeah. It's not my fault. No, watch your class on stream like you did that one time. <laughs> no, I have to well, do something. Okay, like I like that. how East Oregon itself didn't vote for the East Oregon separatists. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> also, Burgess Owens just compl- defies the odds and holds on. Whoa. No Mormon won in Utah. No, Burgess is a, is a Mormon. No, I'm known from the Mormon Party. Oh. The Mormon Party won in Vermont. <laughs> hmm. Massive fraud for the Mormons. The East Oregon separatists are actually very popular, it looks like. In a, and South Vegas, too. I wonder what... Are they, like, for legalized prostitution? Maybe. I want to see the ba- the places where East Oregon did the best. Uh Surprisingly, Eastern Georgia. Some Republicans. Oh, uh, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia, Baltimore suburbs too. Harrisburg, not surprising either. New York suburbs. True. Inner city Detroit. That makes no sense. Oh, the Muslims voted for a socialist. <laughs> the Driftless is a big fan of East Oregon separatism. Besides, uh, whoa. The Dubuque area really uh, does not like. I don't know what it is. The GQP is. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's the Des Moines voting again. AFM, um, name a city in uh, Michigan you think I've never heard of. Uh, Manistique. Have you heard of it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> UP cities. You need to learn more about UP cities. Okay. Okay, the Mormon party did well in Minnesota. Can you name a city in Ohio you think Buckeye hasn't heard of? Uh, that's a tough one because he knows everything. Really? He's home state. Does he For really? Well, okay, fine. Let me look. Buckeye, yeah. do you know where Pickaway County is? Yes, I believe so. Really? really? Name I a saw city a in Wisconsin sign you in don't think I've heard of. What? Name a city in Wisconsin you don't think I've heard of. Uh... uh Marionette. Yeah, I've heard of it. Dang. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. I was looking at like I was trying to. I was looking at the most populated city in a. And I was looking at the list of the most populated cities in America, and I wanted to see the biggest city I've never heard of. The big. I'm doing a speed run. The biggest city I never heard of was a uh, Long Beach. California. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? How do you spell superior? I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. A field. That thing's tiny, but I'll put it in anyways. I 
Okay, name a city in St. Clair County I haven't heard of. You think I haven't heard of? St. Clair. Well, East I don't know China. anything about St. Clair. What'd you say? East China. Yeah, I've heard of East China. How do you spell Prairie du Chien? Okay. But you're like one letter off. Algonac. Yes, I've heard of Algonac. That's like a school. You know, I was surprised when I saw how red Algonac was. Because <coughs> that's like a, that's, there's like a school in that county. And like everyone's like always talking about like how bad it is. So I should vote Democrat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how it works, right? <laughs> yeah. That's usually, that's usually how it you, goes. Can you like zoom in on this? Oh, you can. Okay. Cool. We're going to continue this. No way I spelled that right. Okay, I'm not even going to try. So oh, I have three minutes until my class. Find a firewall or a paywall. What? They put the tw extremely detailed map of 2016 behind a paywall. That's Grand. gay. That is gayer than conservatarian Zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a boyfriend. Whoa. He does, though. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I'm going to name a bunch of... So uh, you. I'm going to name a bunch of Driftless <laughs> cities now. Because I know a lot about these. Why? Because I go to the Why? Driftless a lot. Oh. Yeah, if you're right, Algonac is like 80, 70% Republican. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go up to uh, St. Clair itself. Oh, St. Clair is R plus 22. It has no Port Huron voted. Has a few uh, Clinton precincts near. The oh, oh, is that, oh, that's Business 2016. Park. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Near Business Park. That's yeah, Port Huron, here. Port Huron uh, voted uh, blue in 2020, but I think it voted red in 2016 by a good margin. I'm going to find your precinct. You're going to find my precinct? Yeah. And my precinct's like R plus 43. Okay. What can I spell? <laughs> you know, my, you remember my township, right? Yet. No. <laughs> You don't remember my township? No, I forgot. Oh. oh. My class is in two minutes. I want to learn. Okay. Here, you can put me up and then say that I'm you. <laughs> you know, one person saw, like, Buckeye as my phone screen, and, like, they thought it was me. <laughs> when was this? It was like my, my cousin saw it. And he he oh. thought it was me. It was Buckeye. Buckeye, how many pictures do you have saved of me on your phone? None. <laughs> what? Bro, I have 18 saved of you. <laughs> Eight, that's a lot. <laughs> I, I was... I was like putting uh, them some of the pictures into like an AI website to judge how attractive you are, and they were like saying you were a six. I'll take that. Yeah. It also gave Boston a six. It gave Caleb a seven. I was the only one who didn't get a seven, or did <laughs> didn't did get a six. What did AFM get? Oh, I didn't. I didn't do AFM. Oh. And now I have to join my class. Why did no never mind? I feel stupid. I, I just can't remember anything today. I could probably name a lot more Wisconsin cities, but this is it so far. <laughs> I just remembered so many random ones. Oh. This town has like one hundred people, by the way, Wilton. Biden Whoa. won Wilton by one vote. It was funny. What about Manawi, Nebraska? Yeah, I know about Manawi, Nebraska. I, I should run for we should we should all run for city city council in Manawi, Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, that one cool. lady votes. I don't think she voted. She voted in twenty twelve for Mitt she Romney. Did. did she really? Yeah. Huh. 
No, Manoe is red on the President 2012 and pres- to President 2016 thing, but in President 2020, it's nothing. She didn't really? vote. Yeah. She's a rhino. Or maybe she just died. Yep. Or... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she? Like 80. I don't know. Okay, oh, we're gonna old. we're gonna go over to Wilton. Okay, is that Wilton? I know. No. Wilton is over here. Okay, take a look at that vote tally. You should try to find my precinct. One twenty-three to one twenty-two. Wow. It was the only town in Monroe County to go go red though. That's oh yeah, this 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 city moved like thirteen points Republican. Actually, has a large Hispanic population. Really. It's weird. But yeah, move There's a woman points. on my screen. Oh, yeah. This this was the city I used when I uh, did that. When I posted yesterday, I was like how every city in the drift list voted. How, it, no, it was like every city in the drift list in a nutshell. Because see, 2016, 44 for Clinton, 52 Wait, for Wait, you Trump. made that a video? No, it was a thing I posted on Twitter the other day. Oh. I want to see some other trends. Some crazy trends. Madison. GOP Joss is back. Yeah, he recorded well, his. Get him on the stream. Okay, I want to. I gotta go to my class. My no, Josh. Get GOP Josh on the stream. Well, I gotta leave in like five minutes. No, get him on. <laughs> I'll send him the link. Yeah, send GOP Josh the link. I want to debate him on Mark Pudica's. Not being a Are supreme you god. The fuck I call it a live stream. Do you have to no, download no. the? Podcast? Give him two minutes. He said. Look, uh, New York Times is trying to hide the Blexit trends from us. <laughs> He's trying to hide how. Look! Look! They're trying He's to trying hide. hide Don't show us Detroit. They won't show us the right. <laughs> They're trying to hide Blexit from us. Well, they're hiding the fraud. <laughs> they're hiding Bro. Blexit. It used to be on there. No, no it never was. No, they're, it was. What are they, what are they trying to cover up in Missouri? Or my count? I know my county what used to be on there. What? No, what are they trying to cover up in Missouri though? I don't know. And Kentucky, frankly. And, and Virginia. Virginia. Whoa! What? They're hiding Trump. One hiding Governor Glenn Oh, DC's on here now. It never used to be. Whoa, Red DC. Red DC. <laughs> Chinatown <laughs> is moving right. No, Chinatown, True. Chicago move like insanely right though. Ooh, a voter island, Marion and Indiana. What? This is what happens when you put in Blagojevich. True. <laughs> Gotta find Chinatown, Chicago. Yeah, Chinatown really liked Trump. There's a Chinatown in my uh, a, t- a, t- a, t- a Chinatown in my one, county. Yeah, Trump won a precinct. But it, in like Chinatown. has no agents. Trump oh, won cool. a precinct in Chinatown. <laughs> w. There's China. There's a China township in my uh, county, but it has like no Asians. Then why is it called Chinatown? I don't know. <laughs> why did Trump Yo. vote for Biden? Am I in the stream? Am I? You are. Yes. I'm here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Just, just, in the back, just for uh, you. Okay. Just for you. Great life politics. Just for you. Mark Fukita okay. for Senate. Okay, my gun range. Okay, can I debate you on why I have, that, I have that sign and I have my John <laughs> okay. Adams sign right next to my desk. I, I stay strapped, my friends. I stay strapped. Okay, what are your thoughts on uh, your, your common aging? Uh, what was it? Um, quote unquote, JD Vance has no. Support. I've heard about this. <laughs> okay, okay. That was before the Trump endorsement, and the amount of people actually affected by Trump endorsements are actually. It's more than I expected in the state of Ohio. Then how come Dr. Oz underperformed everyone in Pennsylvania? I said in Ohio because the voters oh. of Ohio are – I mean, we were – we flipped 16 points. Or not 16. Oh. It was 12 points from 20, uh, 12 to 2016. They are insanely oh. big Trump supporters here in Ohio. I mean, it's, it's, it's 
it's frankly that simple. Well, here's the thing. The state of Wisconsin, we swung heavy to uh, Trump as well, but we don't have that much. Trump doesn't have that much say when it comes to his endorsements. Like this Tim Michaels endorsement's not even having an effect on the governorship. Ohio's well, just built different, though. Like, yeah. it, Ohio literally is just built different. I based it off of, I mean, I traveled, how many counties did I go to? Six or seven counties for events, and I never met J.D. Vance. He's one of the only people I never met. I met, never met a surrogate from his campaign either. I've seen one J.D. Vance yawn, yard sign, not yawn sign, yard sign in my entire time traveling the state. And that, that's what I base that off of. And then Trump endorsed him like three days later and it aged poorly. But and so I, Buckeye was the only J.D. Vance supporter you had met. At least, uh, <laughs> yes, actually, no joke, actually, yes. <laughs> not even kidding. And I'm not using that to be like, well, I, I don't like J.D. Vance. So it's, it's, it's that simple. I, I didn't meet anyone else. Okay, I will say I wish Trump had the same uh, play over the Georgia primary because yeah. I feel like all these boomers, like even if there were a bunch of Dems crossover, I feel like a bunch of boomers just walked in and they were like, we're going to vote for Purdue. And then they just saw, wait, Kemp's an incumbent? We got to vote for him. Is that on the ballot? Is that what? I don't think that. Yeah, they literally like have it's... incumbent yeah. on the ballot in Georgia. Same as Pennsylvania. Oz, I think, would have won by a lot more if it wasn't for the counties listed. I'm honestly still surprised by the Oz turnout. I expected him to to win by more than he did. I didn't honestly. Well, he did the the area he did best. I I expected him to do best around like the middle of the state, but he actually did best in like the Scranton area, which was interesting. I I don't know Pennsylvania that well. I think I, there were there were a lot of Oz Barletta voters from from what it looks like. Let me let me pull up. Yeah, the like the map Oz did best where Barletta did best. Yeah. Is like there a, is there an districts. exit poll? That says um, how many people didn't vote for him because of his first name. No, I don't think so. No, there's like all these. Dumb, there's I want like to know how much, how, how well. I want to know how well um, McCormick's attack just na- saying Mehmet Oz every three seconds worked. I just boosted his name that re- name recognition. But. No, this is uh, a lot of Gazislims on Twitter acting like no Republicans are going to vote for him in the general because he's a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in like 2012. Yeah, like 10 years ago, maybe, but not now. No, true. He's, I'll say this. He's as Muslim as Biden is Catholic, if if that. He literally, like, he drinks alcohol, which is forbidden. He he does a lot of stuff. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I went up the yard. I think if I had any more yard signs over here, because I thought I had four or five, but I guess I only have two. Also, like, all this stuff, like, vote, he voted in the Turkish election. He was kind of forced to do... In Turkey, it's mandatory that citizens vote. I did not and, know that. I'm not a big Turkish expert. Well, yeah, I became one because all these people yeah, are the like... Fed, like Dr. One. <laughs> I saw one yes. candidate getting attacked on Twitter, and I became an expert in a, of an entire country. <laughs> yes. AFM knows the vast history of the Turkish government and how we their like culture Turkey, works. like Turkey, okay? Erdogan is a right-wing populist who hates the gays. I mean, I I don't like I don't like Doctor Oz, but I mean, he's better than than Shrek Corbin. that has whatever sort of heart problem he why, has. Why did people like Barnett? She was she was literally like a Blexit Tim Scott. Trump just released a statement. If any of y'all are interested, because I'm supposedly the new Liz Harrington. So <laughs> internal Wait, capital Liz police Harrington? review found sweeping intelligence security failures on Pelosi's watch by John Solomon. That's the that's the Trump Wait. statement of the day. Okay, like it's like minutes. every time Trump makes a good endorsement, he like five minutes ma- later makes a horrible endorsement. Like the Arizona Senate one, that was base. He endorsed Masters. Then like a couple hours later, I endorsed Tim Michaels for governor of Wisconsin. <laughs> he endorsed J.R. Majewski and uh, Kevin McCarthy within, within an hour of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what? <laughs> I love how he how he went the extra mile with McCarthy, and he's like a great and fearless warrior for the people of California. <laughs> well, I, I can't about say, I, he, I mean, he, he is for the people of California. He he fits the the eight million Democratic voters in California pretty well. But I mean that's true. But <laughs> he he does represent California pretty well. Doesn't represent his district, isn't he? Like a farm. It's like a very agricultural. The, it's like the area I think in between uh, Fresno and Los Angeles. That's the area it kind of represents. I believe I could be wrong. I I cannot tell you about specific districts outside of the state of Ohio at all. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I know a couple, but like, I'm I'm not that. Deep I'm not okay. I I would say I know more than you, but I don't know as much about all these redistricting people who are like, look at my new redistricting map. I spent, 
I spent the past I mean, seven props days. Props to them for having a habit or uh, a hobby, but it's just I sent it to the redistricting commission of Ohio seven times, and they have yet to look at it yet because it's a fifteen zero ger- literal gerrymander splitting up Franklin County seven times. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> The only Sorry, way this, I'm not going to out district Joyce Beatty. There's no legal way to do that in the state of Ohio. Who I mean, was she? Gonna... The Columbus lady? Yeah, she's the Columbus yeah. uh, representative. Okay, in Wisconsin, people always try to do these like seven to eight, uh, oh, one redistricting, and they always fail big because what they try doing is they try splitting up Madison. But it's actually a better idea to split up Milwaukee, as crazy it may sound, because Madison is surrounded by tons of safe blue suburbs. But Milwaukee's suburbs are all Republican. Like I'm going to nod my head like I understand what you're talking about, and I'm yeah. just going to keep nodding. <laughs> yeah. But uh, while we're talking about Joyce Beatty, supposedly I've heard that uh, Ruth Edmonds is considering. She ran against Mike Carey in OH15. Uh, former NAACP chairwoman as a Republican is considering running against Joyce Beatty. In Ohio, in Columbus, yeah, in, in the in the D sixty or whatever, <laughs> D D fifty, whatever. Oh, so is this gonna be like another Kim Klasik scenario? Yeah, I, probably, but I don't know. I mean, I oh yeah, did you see Doe Collins won his primary last night? Or he, did he actually? Yeah. Oh, I I was sad that uh, one primary I was upset about. What was his name from from RSBN? Mike Crispy. Mike Crispy. Yeah, yeah New Jersey. Crispy. That was sad. That was Mississippi. Sad. That was that was Mississippi crazy, came man. in clutch last night. They're the only reason that, like, you know, I paid attention to election. Election. My, it was my birthday. I wasn't paying attention to elections for one night. I paid attention to the San Francisco recall election for their prosecutor. Their what? Yeah, no, Midwest politics. Before I, I saw that sh- he was coping, he blocked me like a while ago. He said I was a griper account. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but but what I was talking about the the San Francisco oh that looks terrible the San Francisco San Francisco prosecutor was funded by George Soros that was the only reason she was elected or he like I don't know what his gender is but whatever he identifies as <laughs> but um, he was recalled by like sixty to forty in San Francisco and that's oh, yeah yeah I saw it was sixty to forty I believe it was yeah it was like a that was more than I expected I expected him to be recalled he's just not popular they got a, a, plenty of signatures very fast but. I didn't expect it to be a 60-40 decision. Or not a decision, but... So, so Buckeye, this is kind of for you, because the Ohioan, I don't know what where Great Lake politics is from, but... Um, Buckeye is no longer a favorite Ohioan. Red Ohio politics. Yeah, he beat me at a poll. Red Ohio politics. I'm in a mock government with Red Ohio politics and that guy. <laughs> I wonder who... I, I wonder how old he is. Like, how, how old was you? He's like, he's like 11, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I lost to an 11 year old in a Twitter poll. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> but he's actually from the county south of me. He's from Wayne County. No, I would be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was faking that he was actually from California and he was just like loping as being from Ohio. Yeah. No, he lives on like a farm. He he, he showed me a picture of his farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless it was just like a random stock image or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did uh, GOP Josh? Did you support uh, Joe Blystone for the governor race? I did. Yeah, uh, I, I think I voted for Joe Blystone. I I was honestly pretty indifferent, but my family voted for Joe Blystone. They should have. Uh, in my opinion, they should have run off in Ohio. They should. I agree. Should. I agree. Have I told you about my my run in with Jim Renacci's campaign? What happened with it? No. So, so I kind of hinted on it in my Twitter when I like got this thing. I kind of mentioned it, like how how I'm professional now. His campaign manager, who I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say his name, is also his, his scheduler for interviews. And I offered to interview him after interviewing Joe Blystone, just to be fair for the time or whatever. I don't really care yeah. about that. He said, "Take your bed out of the background because it looks unprofessional," <laughs> and then we'll talk. <laughs> so that I, was I'm gonna before you had this background drop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my camera while I do this. Give me a sec. I bought a poster board. <laughs> I bought a poster board. That folds out to block my bed. I spent like six dollars on this at the local Walmart. To block out my bed on an interview with him, and he said, "I like that. That looks good. I will get back to you." And then he never got back. He never, he never said anything again. <laughs> no, that's like I heard that like at CPAC when you try to like talk to politicians. A lot of times they'll be like this. Their press person will be like, "We'll schedule an interview. I'll get back to you," and then they never get back. Yeah, that, that, that's exactly what Jim Renacci's guy did. But I'm not going to promo here, but 
uh, Neil Peterson. Have you all heard about him? I, oh, I know yeah. has, but him. tomorrow Who's... I'll be I'll be seeing <laughs> Hamilton tomorrow. I'm very excited for it. Who's nice. Neil Neil Peterson? He's the independent running for governor. He's a pastor from from yeah. Dayton, and he's running with his lieutenant pastor or associate pastor. Yeah, independent for, candidates aren't going to get anywhere. Like, here's the thing: I'm okay like with the. Oh, yeah, I would yeah. support an independent candidate if John Cranley was the Democratic nominee, but Democrats nominated like a resistless Bernie bro, so, so I think it's kind of important to side with the wine because at least Cranley was semi moderate. We have a veto proof majority as of now. I don't know how oh. the the new maps are, but we have a veto proof majority. It doesn't matter. And I'm I'm going to be controversial here. The legislature would be more conservative if, if Richard Coudray uh, was the governor. That's true. Because Mike DeWine like can just say he's going to veto a bill that's insanely conservative where they can amend it to where he will support it, but it's a, a big yeah. do-nothing bill. Richard no, but Coudray I see all these people talking about – conservatives. I see all these people who are like – we're like McCormick and Barnett supporters on Twitter are like, oh, we need to endorse this third-party challenger to Dr. Oz. There's like a constitution guy who's running. I'm like, why is my ring light obnoxious? Gubernatorial poll. Oh, he's at 45. 15%. That's my and only, and 58% of people don't don't know his name yet. So if he can get his name out there, he, and he only has a 7% negative rating for the people who do know him. With Mike DeWine has 31%. And I'm it's, gonna... it's easy for a better Ohio, so take it with a grain of salt. But the, uh, was it the USA Today poll had him at 10%? Thank yeah, you. I don't think he's going to win because politics are a lot more polarized now, especially in a state like Ohio. If it was a state like New Mexico, Alaska, states like that are more open to vote for like independents, third parties, even Maine. But Ohio is not one of those states. It's a two-party state generally. I don't even think third parties were able to break 5% in 2020. I have a sticker of the Ohio model I never took out because that, that's what he uses when anyone uh, says he can't win. I mean, he's literally, he's literally a pastor, bro. Like, yeah. Put him down. Oh, yeah, it's, like, not like God, it's not like God's just going to win. He's a, he's a pastor, bro. Okay, you're, you're a pastor. I will make you win. If that was the case. Yes. Then- I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, that you can't just say there's no chance, bro. He's he's not like he's uh, Neil Patel. Okay, endorsed I'll say he has a 5%. I'm endorsed by Jesus himself. He has a 5 a, a 1 in Josh 0.5% Man the same chance. thing after the J.D. Vance endorsement. I think he did. I, I, I think he said that he's endorsed by God. Josh Mandel, I can't remember if if <laughs> Josh I'm... Mandel. No one else did. It wasn't just. Why is uh, Ted Cruz Neil had all the shittiest endorsements this cycle? Mandel McCormick. The only one, the only good thing he did was endorse the other McCormick in uh, Georgia against Jake Evans. I don't know how y'all remember everyone's names. I, I'm I cannot. I just do it. remember like a few select races because I just remember anyone Yankee perspective makes a video on. Okay. Yankee perspective blocked me on Twitter. I'll never forget that day. I I just like you. Why? For something in that uh, that uh, Republican High Command group chat. Just oh, I got I got uh, kicked from that because I had like a I forgot what it was. I think it was because I had a Pritzker PFP. I mean, how do I put people, people literally are DMing me asking me why I have a Pritzker PFP? They can't tell it's a meme. There's there's stars. He said I didn't expect GOP Josh to be here. So true. Wait, do you have a YouTube channel still? Or did, is that dead? no? He does. I have a YouTube channel. I, I don't use it very often because I got I got uh, banned a couple times, but that's okay. It deleted like two of my podcast episodes for being uh, misinformation. I literally uploaded a clip of John Doyle a few days ago, and I went from 100 subs to 800 subs in the past couple days. Bro, I, I sent the link there. I don't know how you. I don't know how you put comments on the page on the on the screen. Do you have to be the host for that? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, well, I, I put that there. But I, I sent in the private chat. I don't know how this works. I've never, yeah, I I've remember, never uh, the, uh, first for me. I remember AP. He used to be in the community. He, he like said all your videos were like super high quality, but you didn't have like any any subs. You only have sixty subs. Yeah, so true. I can shout out your channel and podcast once I get the community post. I'll have it in uh, on Saturday. That's when I'll officially be getting it. Well, thank you. Well, Saturday is actually when my interview with No Peterson is coming out, so it kind of works. Mm-hmm. I'll shout out your interview if you want. Thank you. A lot of it. Will that be that. on YouTube or is it just going to be on your podcast? It's going to be on YouTube, Rumble, okay. and then um, on the podcast feed as well. Yes. I might do it as a video podcast on Spotify as well to so try that out. Wait, they have video podcasts on Spotify now? You can, yeah. 
That'll be interesting. Surprisingly. That's what Joe Rogan uses. They introduced it when Joe Rogan moved. Oh. Exclusively. Oh, like when all those celebrities were threatening to pull their music off? Hmm. Back when he was exclusive, the, the contract was signed. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll just make this a feature so he can have his fancy studio again, I guess. I don't know. Wait, so if I do that, oh, it works. That's cool. I didn't know that did that. I've never used this before. But now it's a picture of me moving. Oh, okay. I promise I don't wear the same shirt like three days in a row. I do laundry. So <laughs> that's. Wait, should should I? I don't know. How, you, how do you share a file? Can you just share like one? Oh, I have a screenshot here. I don't know how you a use it. Video this. file. Oh, yeah. I, I want to... Go to Can share, share a screen? screen. Just one screen. Yeah, uh, also, um, um, really GOP Josh, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the next congressman from Tennessee's first congressional district, Michael Leone? I've heard his name. I don't know who he is. Okay, I can't share my screen. Uh, he's got, I, he has some very uh, great ads. We will show you one. From, is he um, actually running? Is, didn't he run for like school board or something and lose? Yeah, he dropped out before the primary. Okay. Is he actually running in, in for Congress, or is this just like a... No, a, this is a meme. meme. Okay. No, no, there's a very so important... I saw Jeremy Juste tweeted out, and I'm like, well, is, this might be legit then. I don't know. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm going to try to book him for an interview after I'm done with Neil Peterson. All right, guys, I got to go. No, come oh, on. Sorry. We must watch no, this. No, 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 I, I, I should have ended this like... Ten, I was going to end this like 15 minutes ago. I'm sorry. I didn't ask. I just 